Ben Jacobson here with Ben Jacobson Photo. Uh, I'm in Newport this afternoon and I just wanted to show you, uh, it, this is kind of a, an iFi review and it goes along with my OMD review. So on the bench in front of me you see my iPhone 4 and my OMD. So what I wanted to show you is I've, I've just taken a picture here in Newport, nothing special, um, but just enough to show you how this all works. I have not transferred anything yet, so I'm gonna walk you through how that works very quickly, um, or as quickly as I can. Uh, so the first step is uh, my iFi is set up, there's kind of two modes. One is to transfer all JPEGs that it sees on the, on the card. It doesn't transfer raw files, at least not in this setup. Um, or to transfer protected JPEGs. And I've never used the protect option on any of my cameras before, so because it's new to me and just in a weird place and menus and hard to get to, I don't like using that. Uh, the, the develop to JPEG option on my cameras works much better and I shoot raw anyway. So what I've been doing is I'll go out on a shoot, I'll shoot on my normal card, uh, or I'll shoot on the iFi with the OMD as a raw, and then when I convert it to JPEG, the iFi sees that and I'll send it to the iPhone. In the 5D Mark III that I'm recording this with, I'll shoot to my CF card, I'll then either process it to JPEG on the CF card, and then move it to the iFi card, or move it, move a copy of the RAW to the iFi and then process to JPEG. Either it's, it's the same thing, it's just where do you want the duplicate file. Um, but once you copy the JPEG to the iFi, it'll transfer off that. Um, so first up, Let's wake up the OMD, um, and let me just dial in, so make sure you guys can see this, sorry it was dark before, but so there we have my OMD, and you can see the menu, so we're going to hit replay, uh, so here's the picture, and one thing to notice, it'll be hard to see on your screens, but on the top left is the battery symbol, and then next to it is where the SD card symbol is, and you'll see that flash. Um, as we do this. To, it, it'll actually bring up the card because it's writing. It'll also have Wi-Fi bars on it. So if we hit OK here, it brings up a menu that says raw data, raw data edit. So we hit OK again, and then it's a yes, no. You hit yes, and it's now making a raw. You can see that's flashing over there. Um, and then what we're gonna do over here, whoa, good thing it has a case on it. I'm gonna grab my iPhone. We're gonna come in here and make sure you guys can see this. And you can see there's an iFi card in there now because it was just written to. So I've already set these up. When you set it, when you install the app, it walks you through a setup. Um, and as it's joining this, you'll see up here in the corner, it, it pinwheels for a little while. Once it connects, the 3G will change to the Wi-Fi bars. Um, so we're just waiting on that. And then what we're gonna do over here, and actually down here on, on the OMD, you can see in the top corner, it's sending, whoops, touch screen took a picture but it's sending that image. So because it says it's sending it, I'm gonna double click here and go to my iFi app. Bringing up the iFi app, you see it says it's in direct mode. And here comes the image right here. Takes a second. And there you see the image. That's actually the camera's camera roll or the phone's camera roll so if we just hit home again hit it one more time you go into photos and we're in camera roll and there's the picture straight off of here so if we bring it up over here you can see there the two pictures are same picture on both places and then you can sit here with this and you can use it in Instagram, use it, upload it to Facebook, whatever you want to do with your mobile phone, but it's now on your phone. Um, the only downside is, and this might just be my, I, I haven't read the manual of the OMD even after having it for a month, I don't know how to process J, or RAWs to JPEGs except just the default way. Um, so maybe you can jump in some menus, set some custom styles and it'll do it. Um, and actually, we can try that. So let's, this is large. Decline that. Sorry about that. Um, and then we're just gonna hop in the menu here really quick and say that we want uh, what is this right here? Vivid. So let's just go to uh, monotone, or let's go to some of the crazy ones down here. Uh, grainy film. So we're gonna say that, um, and then we're gonna go back to replay. 
and we're gonna hit okay and we're gonna say raw data entry yes and we're gonna see if this is gonna make it black and white for us there you go so that's exactly how you do it you you set your JPEG parameters up before you convert and it's gonna to convert to whatever setting you're in um, so now we can bring that across to the phone if we want so let's go uh, that's you can see it's uploading right now and then what we're gonna do is double click so I can bring up the iFi app go into you can see I'm failing at iPhone right here, but we can hit this. You can see, boom, it's there. There's single view and there's the black and white. So I don't know how well you can see it on the screen, but I've just showed you the steps at least. Um, so there you have it. You can easily convert with the camera into basically any settings you want. You can make a JPEG and the way I have it set to just transfer all JPEGs as soon as you've written it, it comes to the phone. Um, and you can tell this is still in 3G um, and it hasn't quit. So let's just go on Instagram and it's looking at me, hi. And then if we do this, you can bring it up and it'll send it. This is my phone's uh, pretty slow for whatever reason. Um, so I'm just gonna skip that step. But you can tell it's on 3G still. It never really brought up the Wi-Fi symbol. So you still have a data connection, you're out in the field and you can just upload whatever you want, wherever you want. So there you have it. That is a, a little bit about the OMD, a whole lot about the iFi. I've been enjoying it because I can go and shoot wherever I want. And as long as I have cell service, I have the ability to upload some images. Um, so it's been a lot of fun. I, I typically have always just Instagrammed like a camera setup, but now what I've been able to do is I Instagram a camera setup as well as one of the shots off the camera just with a rough edit on the phone, um, which is fun. And then one of the other things I've done is just with the OMD going around with my family, instead of using the iPhone camera, I'll just use my OMD. iFi lives in it now. You just get a good shot and you uh, send it across. So hopefully that helps you. Um, and this is Ben Jacobson with another Ben Jacobson photo. Uh, I guess this would be an accessory review. Thank you.